heavy duty. Coming at you with another mukbang thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, all aboard the heavy duty express. Where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And y'all know the rest. And hey, comment like a share for me. One more time. Comment like a share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification, you come check us out. Y'all, hey, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and I'll tell you what this good-looking stuff is. Y'all ready? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you at this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal from the nourish of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, look at here, look at here, look at here. We got some pork shoulder or roast, rump roast or some kind of pork anyway. Then we got some barbecue baked beans. We got some homemade coleslaw. And we got some Sara Lee artesian, art, artesano, artesian, art, artesano, artesano, artesano bread. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. It's good. It's like it's a. It's kind of. It, it tastes kind of like sourdough bread to me, a little bit. But it's good though. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get eaten. Oh, and barbecue sauce, as y'all seen in the thumbnail, is private selection. Hot pineapple ginger rum. From Kroger. From Kroger. Yeah. That's what I was thinking you got it that baby, but I wasn't for sure. So now got that out of the way. Put me a little bit of this pork on here. Hope everybody had a good Wednesday. A good hump day! Trying to put it on there and not drop any of it. Don't want to waste that good meat. Know what I'm saying? I right, put me a little bit of barbecue sauce on here. Lady Boss says, it is hot. So I don't want to put too much. <laughs> oh, it ain't? Okay, we're good then. <laughs> Lady Boss says, it ain't lip fire hot sauce hot. So you ain't gonna, you don't be up. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she was saying. Don't be a chicken. <laughs> Put some of the slaw on him. Give y'all the first bite. Y'all want some? Mm hmm. Mm. Pretty good. Too good. <laughs> Try some of baked beans. You want a bite of baked beans? Mmm. Try 
try a little bit of coleslaw with them. Mmm. That's good. Hey, y'all like my hair, y'all? Got me a haircut. All trimmed up, you know what I'm saying? Got shaved. Look at all sissy. Ha, <laughs> Hey, y'all, guess what? Covers in the house. Come and say, what's up, y'all? Hey, y'all be? Y'all, we got some for that pig tonight. Oink, oink. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Got some water in them tonight, y'all. It's um pineapple mango Nestle Splash and wild berry Nestle Splash mixed together. As y'all see, I used the whole bottle, the that whole bottle, and most of that bottle. So pretty good mixture. It tastes good. Mm. Now I have some um those we got at Sam's and a variety pack. It has lemon is the other flavor that's in there with them. And whether it's lemon, grape, the wild berry, and the Pineapple mango. Pineapple mango is okay by itself, but that lemon, I ain't too crazy about it. Huh? What's up, baby? I said, is that why you gave me lemon? No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lady Ball said, is that why you gave me lemon? <laughs> yeah, there's a method behind my madness. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is the first one I grabbed, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. That coleslaw, all of them is Grated up some cabbage, cabbage, and then we had some uh, already grated carrots. I took and cut them, cut them up into smaller pieces, so it wouldn't be big old chunks of carrots. Um, mix it together with some salt and pepper for me, and salt, pepper, and sugar for later, boss. I got it made. Took a spoon, uh, took a bite over there, took her on a spoon. She tried it. She said, "It needs sugar." I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> so I said, "I'm gonna take some out for me before I put the sugar in there." Hmm. And it is pretty good. That and the pork. The pork. I put it in the crock pot this morning. Let it cook all day long. But when I took that joker out to let it cool off before I tore it up, it about fell apart. I had to hold it with two two spoons to get it to come out in one piece. Mm. 
That's really good. I like that barbecue sauce. It's good. I'm just so you know, most coleslaw has sugar in it. For real? Yeah. I ain't never put sugar in mine. It's in it if you get it from KFC or Popeyes. Oh, him. You can get the recipe online. I just hadn't. Yeah, I just had never put it in mine. I don't know if grandmother puts in hers or not. A tablespoon and a half. Hmm. Who we? I think I'm gonna put the coleslaw on there first this time, so I can get a good even layer. No, I'm just eating beans with it, baby. I ain't trying to make too big a mess. Good. I think I ate too much of my coleslaw in between my bites of barbecue sandwich. I bought I ain't got enough to make have enough for another sandwich. <laughs> it's just so good. Just enough. Then I think there's enough for maybe. Oh, excuse me. My work. One more little bite. <coughs> yeah, sit that right there. Put me some meat on him. Uh, we've been we've been watching the show it's on uh, Netflix or no it's on Discovery but the food truck race where they go around the season I think the season three is one we're one we're watching now they're traveling from coast to coast. And having to do like different challenges, and and this on this season, the team that wins at the end of the season wins fifty thousand dollars, and the truck that the, that they was letting them they're letting them use for the show. I forgot to put barbecue sauce on. <laughs> Flapping my gums and straight forgot. That's a pretty good show. I said we're on season three right now. We're not we ain't watching it one season right after another. I think it's got like what 13, 14 seasons, Bubby? Uh, yeah, something like that, yeah. We're just skipping around. We'll look through them and see which one looks the best. Then we'll watch it and and then after it's over we'll pick another one. Now we're in business. Put some more meat on there too. <laughs> mm. That's called. What's it called, baby? What? That show. What show? 
the food truck. Great American food truck, right? Great American food truck race. Y'all want to? Y'all like watching cooking shows and competition, cooking competitions and stuff like that? Check it out. It's a good one. I'm watching that, and we're watching um, it's a uh, uh, car restoration Gotham Garage. Uh, Rust to Riches, I think his name of it, something like that. It's a pretty good show, too. I, I like what well, we both do. Well, I like watching them. All the cool looking cars and trucks and bikes they be fixing up on there. I'm getting by full, y'all. Real close to full. Now I ain't got no carbonated drink to make me do a muck work. <laughs> Mm. They did buy the coleslaw right now. Mm. I'm gonna have me one more bite of that sandwich and I'm be done. I'm trapping out, y'all. I can't go no more. I'm done. Four thirty. Oh it. Shoo. I'm full as a chick on a hundred pound dog butt. Mm. That up here out of the way. Y'all know what time it is. Time for that daily bread and daily reflection. And I guess. Uh, <coughs> yeah. We're going to read this one right here. Since I already read Wednesdays, I'm going to go ahead and read Thursday. Since y'all going to be seeing it on Thursday anyway. The reading comes from Genesis uh, chapter 11, verses 26 through 32. It says up at the top, All scripture is God breathed, God breathed, breathed, and is useful for teaching, 
rebuking, correcting. Ooh, excuse me, Mark Burp. Sorry about that, y'all. Gotta leave one more room, but I ain't eating no more. Correcting and training in righteousness. That comes from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, hi, y'all. I had a big old chunk of meat I had to get out of my tooth. <laughs> the title for the day is The Big Story of the Bible. When Colin opened the box of stained glass pieces he had purchased, instead of finding the fragments he had ordered for a project, he discovered intact whole windows. He slewed out the windows, origin, and learned they had been removed from a church to protect them from World War II bombings. Colin, Mar Colin marveled at the quality of work and how the fragments formed a beautiful picture. If I'm honest, there are times when I open particular passages. Sorry, y'all. Train rolling through. And it ain't the Heavy Duty Express. But it shake the house. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to start that paragraph over. If I'm honest, there are times when I open particular passages of the Bible, such as chapters containing lists of genealogists, and I don't immediately see how they fit within the bigger picture of Scripture. Such is the case with Genesis chapter 11, a chapter that contains a repetitive cadence of unfamiliar names and their families, such as Shem, Sheila, Eber, Nahor, Naor, and Tara. I'm often tempted to gloss over these sections and skip to a part that contains something that feels familiar and fits more easily into my window of understanding of the Bible's narrative. Since all scripture is God-breathed and is useful, the Holy Spirit can help us better understand how a fragment fits into the whole, opening our eyes to see, for example, how Sheila is related to Abram, the ancestor of David, and more importantly, Jesus. He delights in surprising us with the treasure of a perfectly intact window, where even the smaller parts reveal a story of God's mission, reveal the story of God's mission throughout the Bible. You know, that's interesting. You know, um, every time that I've started reading the Bible, I, I always start in Genesis. I mean, that's the way that I've always been told. You start the, you start the front, read all the way through it. Well, I've never made it all the way through it yet. But for me, it's kind of the same. I mean, like the, the chapter Genesis, uh, Gen Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus, the first three, it's a lot of like repetitive stuff. I mean, but like it says, I mean, it's it's like a they're painting a picture, God's picture of of how things went went down back in that day, back at back in that time. So I mean, I guess I, that really. That right there, I mean, kind of glues me in on, I guess, why it's like that. I never really thought of it like that. It's like a window, and the, all the pieces, though they may be, like, talk about it over here, one part of it, and then talk about it over here, the next part of it, but it, it and where it all kind of comes together. So, very interesting. The prayer for today is, Father, please help me to see, excuse me, Father, please help me to see you and your work more clearly, to grow deeper in your understanding of the Bible. Oh, that wasn't part of the prayer. <laughs> 
that was to grow deeper in your understanding of the Bible, visit ChristianUniversity.org slash SF106. <laughs> the prayer for the day was, Father, please help me to see you and your work more clearly. Amen. If we just open our eyes and see right in front of us, you know, we'll see his his work and how awesome it is. Yeah. All right, time for the daily reflection. <clears throat> and again, since I already read September the 1st, I'm going to read September the 2nd. The title for today is Finding a Reason to Believe. The willingness to grow is the essence of all spiritual development. That comes from, as Bill says at page 171. A line from a song goes, and I look to find a reason to believe. It reminds me that at one time, I was not able to find a reason to believe that my life was alright. Even though my life had been saved by, by my coming to AA, Three months later, I went back out and drank again. Someone told me, you don't have to believe. Aren't you willing to believe that there is a reason for your life, even though you may not know yourself what the reason is, or that you may not sometimes know the right way to behave? When I saw how willing I was to believe, there was a reason, there was a reason for my life then I could start to work on the steps. Now when I begin with, I am willing, I am using the key that leads to, that leads to action, honesty, and to an openness to a higher power moving through my life. I mean, that, that goes, I mean, just like it says, I mean, it, and I and I look to find a reason to believe. You know, I used to I didn't believe. I didn't believe that that I could do better or that that anyone cared whether I I would do better. I mean they yeah, I mean I, I do now, you know, I mean now that I'm have that willingness to believe and would uh, want to to not do those things that I used to do. I mean, I can see where my thought process was all wrong with it. You know, I mean, because two pe people do care. I mean, I they really do. I mean, I and I, I'm really very thankful for that. Very thankful. Ciao! I done got full. I done got sleepy. I'm gonna get out of here. And probably ain't gonna be too long before we're gonna hit the sack. <laughs> Go to sleep. Catch some Z's. <laughs> huh. Alright, but hey. Thank y'all once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And y'all know the rest. And until next time, may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get in one, always remember, call on the good Lord. He'll help you through it if you only believe. How y'all like it? That looks pretty cool, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, hey! Comment like and share for me. One more time. Comment like and share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over here to the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell. Select all. That way, every time you come check us out. All right. Like I said, I'm going to get up out of here. We love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. Huh. Do what? Yeah. We love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. And hey, keep the mirrors to the track because the train will be rolling through again pretty soon. But y'all, we'll see you next time. 
Bye bye. Mwah. Have a duty. Out. Peace.